Yeah, we are on the, which side of the house is this? The, the north side. The north side of the house and, and here there's this uh, amazing mural done by uh, Catherine, started by Catherine. Talk about it, Catherine. Well, it's a uh, 3D or raised, what do you call it, raised? Uh, a 3D or uh, you know, three it's actually got dimension. Yeah. yeah. Release. There you go. Yeah. Let's. Um, let's and just actually, original. Run, run your hands over it oh, just yeah. so we can show. Yeah. This is a corn star. Yeah. Blue corn, and this is a uh, genie suggestion was that I make a pot that looked like a pot that I actually made, which is inside the house. Yeah. Uh, so I did. I made the, instead of doing traditional Native American design, I did this. Yeah. And uh, it was all from a postcard I had, a painting of a woman coming out of, a, kind of a spirit nature woman coming out of this pot with corn. And, and we added, Paul added the tree and the bird. Yeah. And, uh, and you, you, you were saying you built it up with yeah, straw and mud. Oh, yeah. It's, well, the, before we've got a There's picture of it. straw bales, and then we spread a clay plaster over the straw bales, and then we do another more refined plaster with chopped up straw, and that's when we started forming the relief. And and Nick and Jeannie were here five years ago, where we started doing that, but some of it got destroyed. Then we never protected it yeah. with. The lime plaster for a couple years and it didn't seem to matter. Started really. now, it started falling off, and then I redid it. Mm. So that was. And we've just been. Uh, Jean has just been painting it. Yeah. Right. So then we did the lime yeah. plaster and lime paint just last year. Yeah. Yeah. We painted it this color. Basically. It's kind of yellow. We just covered it with a layer of yeah, yeah. yellow of, of the regular lime paint. paint what lime we yeah. wash. The house yeah. With. So then, you, Jeannie and Nick arrived. And you want to talk about it, Jeannie? Come on. And she got the right col got the colors and take it away, Jeannie. <laughs> okay. Well, we we didn't know what we were doing, but we but Paul told us Paul bought us a bag of lime, and we went and bought some lime tolerant paints. We bought about eight paints, seven Pig. paints, big uh, pure pigments, um, yeah. lime tolerant, and they were sort of you oxides and mostly oxides and um, we we mixed up a sort of porridge of the lime and water um, it was powder we mixed it porridge and in, with that porridge and we we put the we mix it with the uh, pigments so we had the pigments in a sort of thin porridge of lime and we painted with that, and I don't know. And we always wet. We kept wetting it and wetting it, so that we were painting on a damp, a damp surface all the time, so that it would suck the colour into the lime. And um, we don't know if we've done right because we were inventing it as we went along, and um, and I didn't have my books to help me. And so, um, and we we thought we kept it wet. Didn't we? we kept it wet. And then, um, and as we, before we painted each morning, we'd wet it and wet it and wet it until it sort of was a nice sort of damp consistency. And meanwhile, we mixed the paints and by then they needed wetting. And so we kept everything all moist and slapped it on and um, painted this so that it looks like a bit of smoke. And she's a sort of smoky lady. And um, we thought, the composition needed the tree to come right over to join to include the spirit woman and the, this this landscape up the, the hill was just like it is mm -hmm. um, with the hill with with bare grass and rocks so we made the river rocks which is in the, the reality of the river rocks we painted it in so that it was like part of what is really there um, and um, and then, and, and then we, si oh, we oh, signed it on the tree. Yes, Anybody who'd had anything to do with it got signed on to it. Yeah, Nick did a lot of misting. And, <laughs> <laughs> he with and here are the signatures uh, of the artist. And 
we didn't have the name of the person who did the little postcard, so we don't know who that was.